Malumi, please, how old are you? I'm 13 years old. Say it again. I'm 13 years old. Malumi is just 13 years old. And Grace, how many years old are you? 11. You are 11 years old. And the violinist, I feel like... How old are you, please? Is a round of applause now for them, please. And now the friends of uh, Jesus Orchestra. Um, I'll be performing this morning um, a Christmas special. And I have two gentlemen on the uh, keyboards, Sunday Ajayi. And uh, Wally, I mean Wally, Ola Wally. Oh, 
Next, please, ring the bell. It's Christmas season. Ring the bell.
fantastic. Let's put our hands together for friends of Jesus. They will still minister in due course. Now, can we put our hands together for Dr. Eber and his group? Dr. Eber and his group. Immediately after this one, we will receive a short exaltation from the university chaplain, and then we will continue. Thank you. If you're happy and you know, say amen. amen. When we look out for Jesus, sometimes we look for him in titled packages. We look for the bag that bears the name Jesus. We look for the pack that has the name Jesus. We look for the bag that has the logo Jesus. But the question is, now that it's Christmas, how do you find Jesus? Who exactly is Jesus? In case you think you know him, you might just be wrong. Be blessed as we present Jesus to you.
Jesus, you love me too much. Ah! What kind of rubbish is this? Why would you sweep on my leg? Can't you see? You're using glasses and you are sweeping on my leg. It is obvious that you're not on slippers and I'm wearing a shoe. You could have seen my legs. These legs are going to take me far, so you can't afford to be sweeping on my legs. Madam, please, I don't like this. Madam, clean up, please. Be opening your eyes when you are sweeping. Please, I beg you. What's the meaning of this rubbish, ma? Please, ma, I can't take this. I can't take this. Please, 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 get out Grace. of my sight. Thank you. Five letters, but there's nothing more precious. Grace, goodness you did not earn, could not earn, and you made in the image of a God whose every breath is gracious, who sends his reign on both oppressed and the oppressor, who chose to come into a world that would not receive him, who sends his reign on both the oppressed and the oppressor. You made in the image of this God, you filled with the fullness of this God, you who have received grace upon grace upon grace, do you not see that you are capable of so much more goodness than this? <laughs> I'm ready. Ready to go away. Chapu now. Chawo? Uh -uh. The one in your village, I've been the one in Chapu. Uh -uh. The one in Goa University. Wait, did you take a look at yourself? Like, look. Am I not that bad? You are terrible. Ah. Even Jesus, when he died, they fought for his robe. What are you wearing? Green or Ankara or sweater? Well, you know this what I have now. Look at me. Take a look at me. I'm a speck, man. <laughs> eh? What are you saying? What are you saying? Uh -uh. Your sh ah, ah. Hey, Jesus Christ is Lord. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. What? Oh, is your background? I understand now. Ah, oh my show. <laughs> Child, kindness is a tender, fragile thing, easy to forget, difficult sometimes to give. But child, there is nothing more powerful than a hand stretched out with grace, than words that point back to your Savior's face. Child, kindness was God living his glory to become a child. Child, it was God dying your death so you could lead his life. Child, if I chose you and equipped you, it was because I knew that you could mirror all the grace that I had shown to you. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Sir, I want you to explain something to me. Uh, sir, oh, sir, concerning the last topic you talked about. Are you serious? Sir, sir, it's just uh, something. Are you, are you kidding me? Why are you born daft? Sir, it's just. Uh, just, uh, uh, ju just leave my sight. I don't want to see you in my office again. Just, I, I don't, don't say anything. Just leave my sight. Come on, that's general knowledge now. There are worlds crumbling hard under the weight of hate. But in the face of all that ugly, you are the face of change. You are salt and you are light and you are full of life. You are made of so much goodness and you are filled with light. You are a narration to the universe of heaven's mind. I have equipped you unto good works by my power, child. The world will see your face and glorify your father, child. If my spirit has now come to make his home in you, then everything true about me is also true in you. I am leaving one commandment with you, that you love one another as I have loved you. So when Jesus came around at Christmas, we all thought it was a baby. But we forget he was a baby born in a manger. We look for him in the supermarket. We look for him during Bible studies. We come to meet him on Sundays. But who said he's not in the cleaner that you see? Who said he's not in the student that comes to you as a lecturer? Who said he is not the security man you so look down upon. Who said Jesus is not with you every day? The greatest, the greatest message of Christmas is not 25th of December. The greatest gift of Christmas is not a baby. The greatest gift of Christmas is love. And the last time I checked, love is God. 
The last time I checked, Jesus was the face of God. And the last time I checked, love is every day, not on the 25th of December. I am that little boy that came to you yesterday. I was the little girl that you showed the side like nothing. I come to you every day, but you refuse to see my face. Christmas is every day, so show love every day. I am the little boy, I am the little boy that came to you yesterday. I was the little girl, I was the little girl that you showed the side like nothing. I come to you. Oh, 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 Christmas is every day, so show love every day. And I am the little boy, I am the little boy that came to you yesterday. I was the little girl, I was the little girl that you showed the side like nothing. I come to you, I come to you every day. You refuse to see my face. Christmas is every day. Christmas is every day. So show love every day. I am the little boy. I am the little boy that came to you yesterday. I was the little girl that you showed the side like nothing. I come to you every day. You refuse to see my face. Christmas is every day, so show love every day. And I am the little boy. I am the little boy. I am and I am the little girl. I am the little girl that you show the sign like nothing. I come to you. I come to you every day. You fail to see my face. Christmas is every day. Christmas is every day. So show love every day. You want to appreciate them? Can you put your hands together? Can you put your hands together? Thank you for reminding us that Christmas is every day. Look at somebody by your side, point to him or her and say, Christmas is every day. Even now, Christmas is going on. So what's your response to the issue of Christmas? Thank you for that wonderful ministration. And I want to talk to the members of staff when the announcement was made that the drink and what will follow with it is exclusively for students. There were kind of mixed feelings on the side of the members of staff. And our question was, so what's their own lot? I want to tell you, we don't want to serve you Pandadiam here in chapel. And uh, by Monday 21st of this month, you will have your own time. And there you could be served Pandadiam, a bushy soup, and whatever that could go for it. So you are not forgotten, you are on our plan and our agenda. But we want to see a time you can be on your own. And by then, students will not be there to check how you are going to swallow it. God will grant us that opportunity in the name of Jesus. I want to briefly remind us and talk about a personalized Christmas celebration. A personalized Christmas celebration. And I will look at Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. There we will have the underlying factors that you need 
to personalize this celebration of Christmas. And I would say that Christmas is often celebrated from the concept of we. We are celebrating Christmas. It is another time of Christmas. And in most cases, the dominant we detects the tune of the celebration. That tune may be negative or positive. But the emphasis is many people seem to follow a crowd in the celebration of Christmas. But by my understanding, and what I want to bring across to us, a meaningful Christmas celebration should step aside from we to I. This implies a personal relationship with the object of Christmas, which is the birth of the Messiah. If you are celebrating and you don't know the one that has been born, then your celebration is not complete. That's why I'm talking about a personalized Christmas celebration. To celebrate a personalized Christmas, three things I will point out quickly. One, Christ must be born in your life. If you are here and Christ has not been born in your life, even if on that 25th that we have set aside as a date, no matter what you do, has no spiritual import. And that's why if you want to have this personalized Christmas celebration, you will not have to reread Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. The first line says, For those who are on the we, they say, For to us, a child is born. But for you as an individual, it will not be to me a child is born. Has Jesus been born into your life? The ability to personalize Christmas celebration defines the individual's attitudes towards activities during and after the celebrations. Paul, having had a personal relationship, was able to say in Philippians chapter 4 verse 19, and my God will. Do you have that personal relationship? Do you have that personal touch? In your celebration, a personalized Christmas celebration will understand that this child that has been born, the one we are celebrating, the one we are remembering his birth, Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, after saying to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his soldiers' shoulders. For you to personalize Christmas, he must take leadership of your life. Jesus must take leadership of your life. And during and after Christmas, and whatever you do, the government will be your government, your leadership, your decisions, your attitude, whatever you do will be de dependent upon the living of his government. And the government will be upon his shoulders. He will be the one to tell you where to go and what to say, what to eat, and what to drink, even at Christmas. You don't have the we and join the crowd. But he is looking at you as an individual, as you prepare and as you celebrate, even as we have been made to know that even now, that celebration is going on. A personalized Christmas celebration will remind us, even in that same Isaiah 9 verse 6, having said to us, a child is born, and I'm saying to me, a child is born, to me a son is given, and the government of my life, the leadership, the directions of my life should come from him, and he will be called wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince, of peace. If you want to have a personalized Christmas, he should play his due roles in your life. 
He will be your wonderful counselor. Even at Christmas, he will be the one to tell you what to put on, where to go, and what to do. He will be your mighty God. No matter what others associate and ascribe to themselves, Jesus will be your mighty God. He will be your everlasting Father. You will always look up to him and you will depend on him. He will be your Prince of Peace. If you have all this in your life and you personally adopt Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 and say to you and to me, a child is born. To me, a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulders. Anything that I'm to do within the spirit of Christmas will come directly from his directions. And his leadership in my life will be the determinant factor of what I will do. He will be called my wonderful counselor, your wonderful counselor. He will be called your mighty God. And my mighty God, he will be your everlasting father and he will be our prince of peace. If you are able to do this, then you will have a better experience of Christmas. But if you fail and you are still on the determination of the we, the crowd out there, determining and defining your Christmas celebration, something is missing. I pray with you and I advise you have a personalized Christmas celebration. Even in this 2020, your life will never remain the same. Let us pray. Can you ask God to help you to develop a relationship with him that will make your Christmas celebration a personal one so that whatever you do, he will be the one to direct you. Heavenly Father, I pray that as we celebrate today in this singing and all we do as a reminder for this year's Christmas, help us to personalize everything so that at the end of this celebration, our lives shall never remain the same. Thank you for answered prayers. Touch every heart that is here who may not have known you, whether the individual is singing or listening to others sing. Let there be a personal relationship. May you alone be glorified. This is our prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's stand as we sing the congregational hymn, the first Noel. First Noel, M sixty three.
Allah sizi azar. special occasion like this where it will be appropriate to follow the example of the wise men Matthew chapter 2 verse 11 the Bible says they opened their treasures and gave Jesus, gave him gifts of gold, of frankincense and myrrh. so I want us to please open our treasures our purses our wallets and bring something special, a special gift to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, our Savior and Master, as we have the ministration of the friends of Jesus. So whatever we have purpose in our heart, let us give it intentionally, joyfully, and cheerfully. Thank you. Thank you. 
that comes from in our hearts as thou ascended in us might ascend my humble gift Indeed, our Father, this is our humble gift this morning. We come to acclaim you as Lord of our lives, as King and Master of our souls. Father, we have come to appreciate who you are in our lives by giving this token of our love unto you. We ask that you accept it from us in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask, O oh God, that the reason for this season will not be in vain in the life of any one of us. And we ask that the joy we know no band, Father. That nothing will take away our joy. As the year is running to an end, O oh God, we ask that none of us, none of us will miss or lose our lives in Jesus' name. We ask, O oh God, that the celebration will continually increase on daily basis. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us. May we never, never lack what to celebrate Christmas with in Jesus' name. Thank you for hearing our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you. Be seated, please. Thank you. Uh, listening to the following announcement. Number one, discipleship continued this evening. By the grace of God, there will be a bus to pick those from here to the venue. The venue for discipleship training tonight, uh, this evening is NLT, New Lecture Theater at the other campus. Please make yourself available so that you can enjoy the goodness of God. Secondly, please listen to this. The school closes on the 18th of this month. That's on Friday. By the grace of God. And then we will reopen on the 11th of January. This is a very important announcement for all students. Is for students, staff, you will get to know when the school will close at the appropriate time. Thank you. I thought you would clap for me. Thank you. At this time, praise the Lord. We shall listen to our Yoruba rendition, tied to. Ayo, Atibi, rejoice, Christ is born. God bless you as you listen.
Lord. Ah, that's too cold. Come on. Praise ye the Lord. We will, at this time, before we take the Hallelujah Chorus, which will be the last, we will have to look at ourselves and sing this song. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Please, can you lead us in that just in one minute? As we sing. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We tidings we pray to you and your friend. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish sing it the way you mean it. Come on and we. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We tidings we bring to you and your friends. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Praise the Lord. We will take Hallelujah Chorus by the orchestra. And after that, the university chaplain will come and close us. Thank you. Now we are taking the Hallelujah Chorus right now. Um, it's going to be instrumental not from the hop here. Um, I believe a lot of us have been blessed now with beautiful voices. If you do soprano, kindly join us. Kindly join us. If you do tenor, kindly join us. And if you are gifted, not baritone, please, we need your voices. Can we all take it in concert? And while we are all on our feet, Thank you. 
Can you put your hands to the glory of God? Can you celebrate as if you are celebrating your Christmas? Can you put your hands? It's worth celebrating. And I prophesy into your life that your Christmas sorrow shall not be added to it in the name of Jesus. This year's Christmas will be one of yours in the name of Jesus. Whatever that is good you desire from the Lord and you want him to do for you for this Christmas, the Lord will hear and he will answer your prayers in the name of Jesus. And for students that are to travel as it has been scheduled Friday and days ahead, the Lord will grant you journey messages in the name of Jesus. And on behalf of the Vice Chancellor, the management and staff and students of Bowen University, I want to thank the friends of Jesus Orchestra who came all the way from a baron. We appreciate you. We appreciate you for featuring in our uh, Christmas carol this year. As you go, the Lord will be with you. And wherever he grants you opportunity to minister, his presence will always be with you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for coming. At this time, if you want us to close this service, you must be on your feet. The last person to stand is the person keeping us from praying and closing the service. So if somebody by your side is still seated, ask the person, you never want to go. You want us to continue. We can continue. The choir is still loaded. We only had to cut it short for them. So rise up and we pray together. We pray in the name of Jesus. Our Lord will return. Honor and glory to you. The King of kings and the Lord of lords. Jehovah is your name. The creator, the maker, and the lover of the whole world. Out of love, you gave the greatest gift to humanity, which I consider as a leap, the divine leap into human history by the divine birth and conception of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For what you have done, and for the reason of our celebration, Lord, we return honor and glory to you in the name of Jesus. I still pray, O oh Lord, and in humility about the thoughts who may not have known the reason for this celebration. Before the end of this year, let there be an encounter with that particular person in the name of Jesus. Let there be divine encounter so that the reality of celebration will be in the life of that individual. Therefore, O oh God, I pray for those that may have known and have saved Jesus as their Lord and personal Savior. Lord, I pray the reality of this celebration shall be evergreen in their hearts in the name of Jesus. And I decree by your word that during this celebration, whatever we eat, whatever we drink, whatever we say, wherever we go, and whatever we do, may all be to your honor and your glory in the name of Jesus. Satan and his cohorts shall never hijack our celebration. Rather, in all our celebrations, honor and glory shall be yours. Thank you for those who used to package this wonderful memory we have heard. The choir, I pray it is well with them. The leaders who spend time to teach them, anointing on their heads shall never run dry in the name of Jesus. All the others who officiated by the reading of the scripture or coordinating in one way or the other, Lord, I pray they shall receive 
They are portions of your blessings in the name of Jesus. The friends of Jesus Orchestra that came and celebrated with us. They shall be celebrated as well. The favor of the Lord shall be with them. And the grace of the Lord shall be with them. In all they do, Lord, you will answer their prayers. And I pray now, anyone under my voice who has one challenge or the other, looking up to you and asking God, when will I get out of this situation? Lord, for the reason of this celebration, answer that individual quickly now in the name of Jesus that a testimony shall come forth and we shall never remain the same. As we leave this place, we are not living in presence because you will always be with us. Those who may have examinations after now, days ahead, I pray you will grant them success in the name of Jesus. Else that we will lay our hands upon you will prosper the works of our hands and you be glorified. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Can the congregation shout a louder Amen? We now sing our recession and hymn. Praise the Lord. Uh, in 65. In 
Bye bye. Hey, listen. C'est plus le fait le manque.